can't pray to God with an AK-47 strapped to your back. That till the violence only screams out the spirituality you lack. Do you really believe a creator would want us to just kill one another? There has to be another way than point our weapons at each other. Is it really your God talking or is it men with greed in their hearts? There are far too many of those who would happily watch us tear each other apart. Listen for the messenger of peace because our leaders can't fight without an army of us. It's time to refuse to get on the planes, get in the trucks, or get on the bus. Do you really want to be fighting their war until the bombs of their armies kill off your kids? Their planes flying overhead while they arm their bombs and mark off their grids? I've seen the faces of your dead children. Tell me, does your God really want that? The rising of smoke and the sound of machine guns and their continuous rat-a-tat-tat. The bodies of children laid out in rows, their futures already buried. Is that the job of your God, to pick up their souls to wherever they're carried? Is that all your people are worth? I doubt your God would agree. Fanatics are leading our countries and our children are paying the fee. I'm reaching out to you, the man praying with a weapon of war. I hope God speaks to you and asks you, is that all you're living for? This can't be what God would have wanted any of us to become. Nothing but weapons of war until we're deaf, blind, and dumb. Think about it, why would God want us to kill off what he created? Look into the faces of your dead children, tell me that they're the faces God hated. The road to peace is a harder road, but it's one well worth winning. We have so much to offer each other, I think God would want us to go back to the beginning. Because we weren't always enemies squabbling with each other over who's right and who's wrong. And there was a time when we knew that fighting a war wouldn't make anyone very strong. It's an insult to God who created us all to believe that war can never be holy. And we're all so busy defending ourselves from each other that we all need a goalie. I look at you there kneeling in prayer and I don't see a soldier. I see a man of God looking for wisdom in a world that's grown colder. And the direction that you're looking is the same direction that we all need to seek. Firing guns at each other is easy to do but it will only make us all weak. We don't do the hard work of working for peace when we just choose to fire our guns. And at the end of the day, all we do with our wars is kill off one more of our sons. Our children are growing up in fear and terror, and they can't possibly understand, because they would gladly take the hand of anyone who in kindness reached out their hand. They just want to be children, they want to be safe, and they want to be free. So how in the world can we continue to do what we're doing and not be able to see? That maybe there's something wrong with what we are doing to cause our children so much fear. Maybe we stop to listen to God more carefully, perhaps we would actually hear that we are all each other's relations and there is really only one race. That we all pray to the same God and the same God looks down upon our face. That there is no God of war and only a God of peace. And we need to lay down our weapons in order to make the violence cease. So I speak once more to the man praying to God with an AK-47 on his back. The only thing that their war will give you is much more of what you lack.